this week on 3D Printed Soup, are you fed up with propping your Steam Deck up against random items of household furniture, but don't want to get Jeff Bezos to send you some cheap Chinese plastic crap? Then why not print yourself a kickstand for your Steam Deck? That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now I love my new Steam Deck, it's absolutely fantastic. And yes, at some point I might get myself a really cool enclosure for it and all kinds of stuff. But at the moment, I just want to play on it. But I also want to be able to stand it up and not sort of lean it against its case. Or if I'm in a coffee shop, arrange the salt and pepper shakers so that I can basically balance it on it. And I don't particularly want to line Amazon's pockets by ordering cheap Chinese junk from them to prop up a Steam Deck. I've got a 3D printer and I've got lots and lots of people out there who make some fantastic 3D designs. So I found a really cool kickstand design that screws straight onto your Steam Deck using existing screws already in your Steam Deck. And because Valve support, hey, why not take your Steam Deck apart kind of stuff, I thought, you know what, let's take a few screws out and attach ourselves a really cool kickstand to my beautiful Steam Deck. Before we do that, however, thanks to the guys who actually created this wonderful file. They're right there. If you like their stuff, jump into uh, the link in the description, give them a like and say thank you very much for creating this beautiful file. If you enjoy the channel and if you enjoy the stuff that I do, please click the subscribe button, click the like button and if you can watch to the end, it really helps feed the algorithm gods. Oh hell the algorithm gods, please let them send me some sponsorship. That's enough toadying. Now, let's get on and print ourselves a really cool 3D printer kickstand for my wonderful Valve Steam Deck. Let's do this. Now, eagle eye viewers here will notice that that part there did not adhere well to the board. I missed this fact and uh, we'll go back to that later on and I'll tell you about the repercussions of that little uh, faux pas right there. Now back to the video. I don't often focus on fell prints but I thought I'd have to give this one a quick show because it's an interesting one. For some reason the back quarter of this uh, lid here, which uh, is part of the stand, has completely collapsed. And also you can see there's print lines all over the bottom as well where it hasn't quite bonded. I'm not sure whether it failed to attach to the uh, print bed or whether it's uh, required some support. But uh, yeah, this was an interesting fail and it's properly squeezed this down. I mean this is supposed to be a print in place and... Uh, yeah, I didn't print it in place. I printed several bits, so we're going to get rid of that one. And we're going to try again, see if we can't get this working properly. So this is what came out when I printed it in place properly. It's much, much better. And yeah, the bottom looks a lot better. The um, hinge actually works here. And yeah, the uh, parts that collect into the pins and pop in place work, work much better. So if something says print in place, make sure you print it in place, don't print it out separately. There's a reason why the makers did that. And yeah, this is my error for trying to print it out differently to the way it was instructed. So yeah, just a bit, a bit of information there. To remove the parts of the steam that, that I need to remove, in other words, the four screws at the back, I am using my iFixit toolkit because it's got actual official support by Valve. So it actually has a screwdriver which actually fits it perfectly. So we've got this one here. And right, let's get on with this and let's get these uh, screws out the back of the Steam Deck. I don't think you can pretty much hurt this thing by removing screws at the back. Um, as I say, it is designed to be um, fix it yourself, right to repair kind of stuff. So yeah, you can remove these without too much problem. You got the four screws there, there and there. You notice the bottom ones are slightly curved because there's a lip there. I'll show you what you do with the print later on. So yeah, let's get these screws removed. Okay, with the screws removed, we can line up the uh, Steam Deck kickstand and we can insert these screws back in and hold them in place. There's enough um, gap between the uh, screw and the Steam Deck to actually let this fit fairly comfortably without too much of the screw hanging out. And yeah, the guys have designed this, it's got this nice little lip inside, so the screws go flush with the surface of the stand, so that works out quite nicely. Just line this up and get the top two screws in. 
Uh, the bottom two screws are going to require um, a little bit of an extra um, effort to uh, get them in. So I'll show you how you do that in a minute. First of all, let's get these top two nice and secure. There we go. Just make sure to not too tight that you damage the screw. Um, but there we go, nice and secure in there. Now, what we need to do here is we need to bend these down. And because this is thermoplastic, we can use a hairdryer to basically heat up the bottom of the kickstand. And we can bend these over and make sure they curve nicely. So let's do that now. I got this on medium heat and I'm just going to heat it slowly. Don't worry about melting the steam deck or anything else like that. Um, PLA goes soft at about 90 degrees, so uh, the injection molded plastic on the steam deck is going to basically be a lot, lot more tolerant than that. So you, you ain't going to melt your steam deck by doing this. But yeah, I wouldn't hold it on it for too long, though. You don't want to overheat the stuff inside it. But yeah, heat this up, and then we'll bend them over like this. You can just push them down and uh, then we'll be able to attach the screws. Okay, let's go in a little bit closer here, just so you can see what we're doing. As you can see, it's uh, been heated up and it's just curving over nicely. If you just use your thumb to squidge the uh, heated up soft plastic, you can then attach the... Uh, oh, look at that, you can see the valve. I love the way you can see the, uh, the valve logo through this thing. That's quite a nice little touch there. But yep, but now that's on there, we can put the screws back in and we can get this thing secured properly. So let's start that now. Cool. So we put the last screw in here and because I've squidged down the, uh, the eyelet, which I'm putting the screw through, uh, it should go in nice and easily and remain secure. Okay, that is now attached to the back of the Steam Deck. And yeah, I love this. It just fits in there perfectly. All secure. You can still see the valve uh, sign symbol through it. And just pops open. The clip there is uh, still holding out well. And yeah, you just, just, there we go. Just stand it up and press the power button. And there you go. You've got a nice angle to view your Steam Deck at. There's another uh, version of it which you can download, which has a slightly uh, wider angle so that you can get it just tilting a little bit further back. But... I like this angle, it's perfect. It just means I can look at the Steam Deck without any reflections on it. Prints in place, um, so basically there's no need to clip anything in. This comes off the hotbed fully assembled. You just need to attach the screws on the back and heat it up a bit and bend the bottom bit over. And the nice thing is, this goes straight into the case. And case closes down and you've got plenty of room in there it doesn't take up any space in the back and it doesn't stop the case from closing so yeah very very nice and I'm very very happy with this print Okay, well that was cool. I love the fact that it uses the, the existing screws and just screws straight onto the back. I like the fact it's got a little window here so you can still see the valve logo. And yep, just pops open, sits there. Uh, rests beautifully and easy and a lovely sort of, uh, I wouldn't say 45 degree angle, about 35 degree angle. And it sits there very, very nicely. And it is absolutely perfect. The guys who designed this have also designed one which has got a little bit more um, of an angle to it. So you can choose which one best suits your face. And yeah, this is absolutely great. It's even got a little clip on the bottom here that holds it in. And when it's screwed onto the back using the existing screws that are already in the body, it fits straight into the case with no problems whatsoever. I'm very, very happy with this. And I do like the fact that it, it just looks great. If you printed it off in black, it would look really, really nice. I print mine off in white because I like it showing up and also it shows up better on camera, but I'm probably going to print myself a nice matte black one just to sit on the back and match with the rest of the Steam Deck's sort of matte finish aesthetic. So yeah, if you like this, print it. And if you do print it, say thanks to the guys that made it. 
because they spent a lot of time doing it, so you can spend five seconds letting them know how much you like it. Thanks for watching 3D Printer Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep printing.